All right, boys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, the Discord link is going to be down below in the description. I have a free course in the Discord and I'm hosting webinars weekly. Um, so that is your perfect time to be asking me questions and anything regarding, you know, how I trade, right? Um, so I know I said that this video was going to be advanced structure, but I decided to change my mind. I wanted to cover liquidity before I go over that. Because in my trade, you know, a lot of it's liquidity inducement, a lot of it's I'm targeting liquidity. So I want I want you boys to understand how I see and approach liquidity in the market. So when I come onto the advanced structure, you're going to be able to understand a bit better on what I'm talking about, right? So what is liquidity, right? For the people that don't know, it's liquidity. Liquidity is what gives the market power. It's what gives it strength to create these trending moves, right? So in order for price to come up here, we'd have to see some type of liquidity sweep. You would get price pushed down. You see, there's no liquidity on this internal leg, right? So you're probably gonna get a bit of manipulation. Manipulation is where price is trying to, you know, get out all of the buyers or sellers or manipulate people to start buying or selling at the incorrect time. So manipulation means we're probably gonna see a bit of reaction here, and then we're gonna come down, hit their stop loss, right? So their stop loss is our liquidity. Our liquidity is this previous low. So once we've taken that liquidity, then we can look for price to continue to the upside. So when it comes to this trade, I'm gonna use this as our, as our example. I'm not gonna go over finding this trade. This was the webinar. If you wanna watch that, then jump in the Discord. If we're looking for a continuation, right? Let's say price is ready here, because it is, right? Price is ready to start buying. If we're coming into the markets here, we know that straight away, we have no internal liquidity here, right? So our first point of liquidity is going to be this low. And like I said with manipulation, people that don't understand liquidity are gonna see this order block as their point of interest. So that's why price comes up slightly because there's, you know, there's, there's traders out there buying the markets right now. So it come up, come down into it, come back up, and then obviously we run their stops. So we swept that liquidity, tapping into the point of interest and then we can look for our buyers. So, and then with the continuation trade that you could have caught off of this order block, what are we looking for? We're waiting for that shift. So we get a new high, this high breaks over here. So that's our shift. Mice is mice, price is broken structure. We've come up, coming up. Where's our liquidity, right? All of these lows here, they're all types of liquidity. But because all of these have mitigated each other, so what I mean by mitigation is if we've got an order block which has already been tested, price has already pushed into it, it's no longer valid, right? So if I zoom in here, you can see this order block mitigated this order block. You see these wicks, it's already tested that order block. This order block and this wick has already mitigated this order block. Same again here. And that's why I'm only going to be marking out this low as our first point of liquidity because there's no point in marking out every single wick, right? So we want to see price push beneath this before entering because there's no valid point of interest where we want to see buyers off of. So the first point of interest underneath this liquidity is going to be this order block. So that could have been another continuation trade there. Or if you'd missed this, then that would have been a perfect example. Um, I'll try to find another example. Um, but it's pretty simple. I mean, you don't need too many examples. If you just follow what I'm saying and kind of write it down, study it on your own charts, you'll slowly start to understand it. And once it clicks in your mind, everything will become so e easy, sorry. Same again here, price wicked um, high time from exterior, exterior structure, taking liquidity. So price melted down, as you can see. We've melted down, we've pulled back up, creating a lower high, leaving liquidity behind. And if we're looking for an entry, what we're waiting for, we're waiting for price to continue. Pull back up, take in the liquidity from that high. And then we can look for our point of interest above that high. And we've got imbalance in between. So that there is going to be our entry on that trade. Um, let's see, same again here. Price is continuing, creating new lows. We've swept liquidity, tapped into the order block. You could have entered there or if you wanted to be extra safe. You wait for the exact same thing that you've waited for already on a higher time frame to then put it over to the one minute. So again here, we get price break structure. We've shifted to the downside. We've built some liquidity here, swept the liquidity, tapped into imbalance, and then we've shot down. Um, not sure if I've got another example. Uh, this example, 
we got our first point of liquidity here jumping on the three minute if we have a look um, on the three minute we've got our order block underneath the one minute liquidity which is enough for me taps into the order block and then we can buy up to previous highs um, it's, it's pretty simple there isn't it's not it's not rocket science right so it is easy for you boys to be able to understand it might take some time for it to register but as long as you're studying it putting it on your charts daily looking for it and putting it in your trading plan right write down you cannot be entering a trade unless you've swept any type of liquidity so for instance here if price was to continue up first point of liquidity is this lower high it just wicked it and that, that's enough that is still valid for me it took that low it took the liquidity then what do we see we see that shift we see it price break above that level right that is a lower high seeing it retrace after tapping into the order block and then you can buy once you once it clicks in your head it was so easy to understand right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this here and i'm going to go over to the advanced concepts regarding structure with a few examples and then these examples that i've been showing but not been showing you how i found them that's that's the video where you're going to find it um so join the discord mentorship will be live on boxing day um so yeah i'll see you boys in the next video